All right, so we do have a JBL Flip 4 over here. And if we took look in here at the serial number, that is um, a GG model. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. So you can believe me, it's a GG model, okay? And we're gonna look at this, how it works first. And then we see if we do need a new battery for it or not. So let's turn this thing on. And we do see we have one light lighting up here. It sounded pretty loud. I'm gonna have to use my phone here quick. And I have to play a song. So when I look at my phone, I'm gonna play the song with less than half volume. I'm gonna play the song for a second. I'm gonna turn it towards the microphone. And we do hear clipping already. So if you play this a little louder. So it's a little half, a little over half volume, and you hear this weird noise, the scratching noise already. So that is a clear indicator for clipping. And clipping is when the amplifier in here, when it doesn't have enough power to move the driver. Okay, That's not good for a speaker if that happens. And you have to be very careful that you don't play it too loud or too long there. And we see now there is the red thing blinking. Okay. So now let's open up the thing here and let's uh, attach the charger to it. When I plug in the charger, it starts charging. You can see that. And then we have to see how long it's taken to charge fully. Now, we see it immediately goes up to almost full. And it's going on the last little bit. So, that is a bad sign that it uh, skipped those steps. So that means the battery now has the required voltage to be fully charged, but since this was so fast, that means the battery really doesn't have enough capacity to uh, do work properly. So what we do need is a new battery. Okay, let's turn this thing off. And I'm going to show you how to take this one apart. This is the GG model. If in your serial number, if you have a TL, then you have to go and watch my other video. It's up here in the corner. You can click on there. And there is the video that explains how to do this with the TL model. It's similar, but not. Okay, the battery I ordered here from Amazon came in this little box. It does come with a little toolkit. This piece here. And then the battery. This one is supposed to be somewhere in here. So we have to get in here to open this up and uh, without damaging too much. It's hard to find uh, a hole here. There we have the first snap here. That's good. When you have one open, then the rest comes easier. There we go here. Then you can take this off. You have to do the same here on this side. It's not so easy. Here. There we go. There we have them. This and this screw. Now, the screwdriver that came with it 
is large enough. Look at that. And then the balls on the other sides here. So now you see how this comes loose, both sides here, like this. And then you just pull off. There we go. And you see that this one here, this model is not glued on. It's just laying on here. Get this with the screwdriver here. I'm not so sure if this is gonna work well. Oh yeah, it does. You just can't slip off and then poke in here. It should, when you say it, it should. There it is. There we go. That came out. It was on there for a long, long time. Uh, it is like a rubber seal here, that makes it waterproof. So that got a little sticky. The speaker is a few years old. Now we have here the battery compartment. There's this cap on here. And then you notice that the battery cables have the same color as our new battery. The plug is the same, basically. That's a good sign. And then you also notice that the cables and wires are super flat here. Because if this passive radiator is moving inside here, you don't want it to hit those wires. Because then you would make noise. You know, you don't want that. One, and then here's the other. And now we have to see if the battery in here is bloated or not. Okay. If it's sticky or not. So what we do first is we unplug it. I'm using a metal piece here that's not good. Yeah, so when we try to pull here, that's not gonna work. Looks like it's bloated. Now we have to go in from the other side. We have to open this one too. So what we need to do then is we need to take this piece out. Yeah, that um, this model the GG model is a little more difficult than the TL model to replace the battery. So when we take um, this charge part out, we do have to be a little bit careful here. Those screws for sure are different. Here and here. So here comes this part up. Now I need to unplug here. This one. I'm going to memorize how that was in here. And um, this one here. Oh. There's another wire in here, another tiny wire.
here. What makes it very difficult to get out. This wire here. There it is. The microphone wire, right? There we go. Wow, that was very difficult. But we got it out. Okay, let's put this to the side. And now we can see the battery here. But there is still um, this flat band cable in the way. Here, this one. So. It's a question if you want to get this out. There. So, this is a blunt object I can put in here and I can push. And you can see how the battery came out. There it is. And it is bloated. It's crazy, right? Isn't it crazy? How thick this got. Okay. Now you see how here the tape is on there? The new battery. Our new battery. In order to get this back, we need this one plugged in here. Now we have to put this back. So this goes in here like this, and then the little tiny plug here, this one, goes into here. There we go. They're all in there. Now we can plug this one in here. Again, to get it right for the camera is difficult. Oops. There it goes in. Very good here. Now between here and then this one is able to go around here around the corner and then plug in here okay so this is going in this way careful with the antenna here There it's in, and then it has to go down here. Uh, 
and the wires in here go into this hole here. Here we have to be careful with this. There we go in here. You heard it click a little bit, okay? So now they are all out of the way here. None of them is in the way to hit the passive radiator here. Okay? It is time to connect the battery here. It's no big deal here. There. And then, as you saw earlier, this has to go down all the way down here as much as possible so that it doesn't hit the, the passive radiator. That's not a big problem. What we need to do first is that could be a transport thing. So you need to connect the charger first once. Yeah, to see if it charges. You see it charges. So the new battery also is not full. You know, the battery you ordered. There we go. And you heard how it was uh, vibrating as we... Like this noise here, that is low battery voltage. I think it turned off on its own. So, this battery is super dead, the battery we got from Amazon here, this battery. So, that needs to be charged for a very long time. Okay. So, but for us, that means we can put the thing back together here. One of both. Extremely careful to not damage them. Okay. And now we put this back on. The buttons are up here. So that's where that piece goes. Okay. So now it's back together. And now we just need to charge and be patient. This is going to take a long time to charge. Here we see the red light now blinking. And we will also see that it does not go all the way up immediately. So this will take a long time to go all the way up. And then when that is done, then we're going to listen to it again. Okay. So far, for us now, the work is over. And all we need now is patience. That's all we need. Okay. <laughs>